Hey, all my beauties. All right, so are you ready to see how I contour? Um, this is my contour right here. It's the reveal palette. Um, <laughs> so I've already primed. Okay, well, I primed whole face, and then I already contoured this side, which I don't know if you can see because of the light. But I've already contoured this side. Now we're going to go on this side, and I'm going to use the Reveal Palette. Like, seriously going to use the Reveal Palette. Okay. So I've got two e.l.f. brushes, one's for my light color, one's for my dark color, and we're going to get into this. So I'm going to wet my, my e.l.f. brush here. I've got water over here. And I'm going to take this, uh, you can actually use a eyebrow palette for contour, um, uh, not this one, but something like this you could technically use too, uh, this one's more of a warmer one, but you could use something like that too. I just use this because, well, I do. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to take this color here and see it's wet so I'm going to make it kind of like a paste or a wet eyeshadow or however you want to say it and I need a mirror I didn't think that far ahead did I okay <laughs> and now I'm I have my mirror here but you're going, I look down, and you can see the contour right here. So, I use my little, and then I like to chisel out a little bit. So, and then I'm going to make that a little thicker. Um, I'm making this really thick for this video, because I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. But, that's there. And then I like to bring it across to my jaw. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit. And now I'm going to go back in to the Reveal palette. And I'm going to grab some more. And we are going to... I like to contour right here, up the side of my face. And then I'm going to go back into that color again and I'm going to chisel out my nose. And I actually make my nose look a little wider, but it's, it's everybody's preference. Now, I'm going to use this other brush here, and I'm going to get it wet, and, oh, did I, yes, I already added my, um, my concealer, I had to think about, did I add concealer, okay, anyways, we are going to take this kind of I don't know, it's a light, creamy shade, uh, kind of a peachy tone, and I'm going to get it wet, and I'm going to highlight right here. take it wet right here, nothing major, and then I'm going to take it right here, and 
don't even know if you can see those lighter shades. I hope you can. Let's see, can you see that? Okay. Alright. I'm going to go back to this other contour brush that had the lighter or the darker color on it. I know what I'm trying to say. And I'm going to use this shade here. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of a warmer browny pinky color ish. And I take that right above my contour right here. Alright, I got one more step that I do to my <laughs> my contour that most I haven't seen anybody do. <coughs> I'm going to take this e.l.f. Uh, HD blush and I'm going to stick that on my cheeks. Alright. So now that I look like a complete freak show, <laughs> it's okay. I promise. I'm going to take my my handy dandy beauty blender. Now we're going to press in the white areas first, or not the white areas, sorry, the, the highlight. Okay, now we're going to take this and we're just going to press this in. Kind of like you would blend anything else out. Just make sure to really blend. Doing this a little darker than normal is not working out for me. Normally this blends out very easily for me, but I do it lighter than this. This is, like I said, dark for video purposes. And this stuff does not want to blend out for me. Ah. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's my contour. Now I'm going to take my e.l.f. Uh, HD mattifying. Um... What is this? It's cream foundation with my beauty blender. So I prime, I contour, I put foundation. So with that blush, I, I like it. You can leave it like that. Put your powder over it, and it's just a really, really soft blush. Or sorry, wanted to make sure it was even. Or you can go with, or you can take a blush. I'm just using this. I don't even know what company this. This is a USA. I don't know. Here's the name of this company here. I bought this at that Valor store. I wanted to try it out. And I'm going to take this shade here. And you just follow your guidelines. Now we're going to warm up the face. We're going to take off Veranda. This is just the Wet n Wild Icon. I don't know. Bronzer in Bikini Contest. And so I'm just using my little tapered brush. And I like to warm up the sides of my face just a tad. I like to 
take it here. I don't know why this is so much easier to do off camera. I can do my eyeshadow for you all day long, but. Okay. Now that I've warmed it up a bit and it may look like holy crap too much or something, I don't know. Um, it's really not. Now we're going to take, again, my physician's formula, mineral wealth, mineral wear, uh, talc free mineral face powder in buff beige. Yes, it is the same one. I'm going to pan the son of a bitch all the way to the end. Because I am a survivor. Okay, anyways. And I'm going to take that and I'm going back. Wait, you didn't highlight. Of course, I'm going to highlight. <sighs> Who doesn't highlight? I'm taking my sheer cover. Um, this is actually a, a bronzing tan mineral, which I don't use like that. With that being said, I just take the cap. I uh, take my little brush in uh, just that little bit now, and that's it. I don't like a very stark white. At least I haven't found a white one that I'd like yet. Um, who knows? I may. And we're going to take that on the high points. I like to roll mine up towards my eyebrow. Some people don't. You don't have to. I just feel that I, uh, I don't know. I like it. And I take it down to bridge my nose. Hold on, Gracie. Give me one second. You want a cup? I take it up here just a little bit, and I'm going to buff that out a little bit. I take that over here just a tad. Hold on. Stay right there. And right here. And right here. And that, my dears, is how this crazy girl does some contouring. <laughs> let me know what you think in the description below. Actually, wait. Let me buff this out so you see it. So I just take my little... Kabuki brush. If this, I don't even know what company this is from. Um, and I just kind of lightly contour, not contour, buff it out just a little bit so it's not so crazy highlight. What are you doing? And because I don't like the blush at the moment, I'm going to brighten it up just a bit. And now we're going to take my setting spray, my e.l.f. one, and we're going to set it. And that is how I contour. I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope this helps somebody out. Um, and honestly, you don't have to use the Revealed palette. I use <coughs> I use, you can use a, whoa, a eyebrow contour, or an eyebrow kit for your lighter colors, and find a, you know, a soft, a softer color than your skin tone, and use that as your highlight. Um, honestly, just play around with the items you have at home. Uh, I mean, yes, I don't get me wrong. I do want to get a contour kit, and I probably will at some point. But right now, I'm having a lot of fun just finding the items at home and using those to contour with. And, I mean, I really haven't had any horrible things being said about me. And, oh, my God, you're, you know, you look cakey or you look this, you look it. Just make sure you blend it out. 
Um, again, I hope this helped everybody. Uh, if you'd like to see any other tutorials, if you'd like to see my lighter version, this is my, like, going out where I'm going to take pictures contouring. Um, this is not everyday contour. This is baby cakes. And anyways, I will, thank you. I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to you all soon. Mwah. Keep it beautiful.